Hello, friends. It's our last experiment together, but I hope you know that you can go and do any of these science experiments and try some of them over again or create your own. Have some fun. Go outside, learn, explore, discover, and ask questions. If you don't know the answers, figure it out. Ask other people. Even look on the internet. You can find so many answers out there today. So try and find and learn and do what you can. One of my favorite things to do is going outside. So while we went outside with this, I like to go outside and observe animals. Um, as you remember, I had Bob and Tom. They are happily, and Blackie, and they're happily living somewhere else, not in my classroom this summer. So I think they're doing very well. We'll see. Hopefully they can grow into be the big turtles they're supposed to be. But I love watching animals. And birds are some of my favorite to watch. So in your science kit, you have got some things you're going to need today. You either have this wood shop that is a bird feeder, or you have a wood shop that is a bird house. And then you've also got some bird seed. That's what this is donated. It's for the birds. <laughs> and I added some glue. Some of you have a clear white bottle clear with a white label and some of you have like bottles like this um, but they do have glue in here I just wasn't thrilled with the glue when I started using it that that was in there it didn't work that great so I added another craft glue to your project but you're going to be building either this is the bird feeder and you would put the seed in the bottom or this is the bird house, and you could put a little seed in there, and hopefully you'll be able to watch some birds come and visit what you made. Now, I didn't make mine all pretty. Mostly I didn't have a lot of time, and mostly I was screaming at this thing because it wouldn't stay together like I wanted it to. It's very, very frustrating. So you're probably going to need a parent to help you. But what you could always do, since birds like colorful things, is you could always color it and make it pretty and make it your own design. You could paint, you could use markers, you could do whatever you like to make it look pretty. However, don't forget to add the bird seed. I mean, we all like food, birds too. So that's what you're going to do in your next experiment. Each one of these packages has directions in it. I will tell you right now, you're going to want a parent to help you. You're going to want to do it at a table that you can set down newspaper or paper because you're going to be using glue and glue gets messy and it's not easy. That's for sure. The directions are on the back of your kit. Don't throw those away. The first part you should do is lay out your shapes. So you've got all of your shapes where they need to be. And follow step by step. What I can suggest is it says step one on here. Glue the edges of the side pieces to the front and back pieces as shown. Well, kind of set this up and look at it. Aha, do you see how this is a side piece? This is actually a front and a back. There you go. And we're going to need side pieces right here. So play with it and see how they go together first before you start to glue them. Parents, if you've got some tape handy, might I recommend after me yelling and screaming that this wasn't working and I almost threw it out and didn't give it to you in your kits. I would recommend that you, when you glue these, just go ahead and tape it temporarily just to hold it in place. It will save a lot of stress and the glue should hopefully work over time. Took mine a long time. And if you tape it, you can hold it in place and remove that tape after the glue has dried. All right. 
So you're looking at these two side pieces for this one. And then you're going to tape this. If you want to hold it in spot. And now you start to see my birdhouse form. And then you've got the roof pieces that go on top. Okay. And then the last part is the base. And you'll notice the base is pretty flat, but it'll fit on there perfectly. Don't forget this little peg that you stick in the front. And that's like a perch for the bird to sit on. So we want to invite them to come in. Again, you're going to want your parents to help you because these are not easy to work with. And if you get frustrated and just can't take it anymore, it's too hard, like I was getting to, go ahead, take that bird seat, go outside, set it out somewhere, maybe in a little dish, a little cup, and see if you can watch some birds come and eat this. It's very interesting, I think, to watch birds. Um, do you think, looking at this bird seed, that you will attract a hawk? You know, one with the big claws? No, because a hawk doesn't eat bird seed like this. And you can tell a lot what a bird eats by looking at its beak. If it's got one of those hooks, you know, it's there for tearing and ripping apart meat. Ugh. Or if you see one of the birds, like a duck, that's got the bill on it, you know, it's good for eating fish. A duck's not going to come up and eat this. But maybe you'll see a cardinal bird or a robin, one that's got one of those little short beaks, good for chewing up seeds. They might come and visit this. So if you get a chance to look at different birds, it's pretty neat to look at their beaks. And it gives you an idea of what they like to eat. It's pretty cool. Just like with our turtles, how I told you we knew Bob and Tom were water turtles and Blackie were water turtles because they had webbed feet. Birds are the same way. They have different feet as well. So you can tell if they have these big claws that like eagles, they're there for grasping their animals and catching their prey. Or if you've got like a cardinal bird or bluebird has these little bitty three prongs, they're good for perching for going around trees and sitting on branches and looking for seeds to eat. Um, there are birds actually with web feet too. So you know that they're good swimmers that they like to go like, like the duck and the goose. They like to swim in the water. So there are different ways we can tell different things about animals just by watching and observing. So again, your bird feeder, I didn't talk too much about this, but this one's pretty easy to put together. You put the box together and it's got this hook and this definitely is going to need parents. This is if you want to use that string to hang these up and you could hang it from somewhere and watch the birds come and get it. You might draw in other animals like a squirrel if you just set it where they can get it. But you know what? Squirrels are fun to watch too. Animals are fun to watch. Go outside, watch, explore, learn all different kinds of things. If these get too frustrating, you're not going to hurt my feelings if you say, four, get it. I'm just going to use the bird seat because it is a challenge. And some of you that are good artists, you're going to make these beautiful and colors and all different kinds of things. That is awesome. Um, this will probably take your most, most of your time up. But I hope you've enjoyed your science kits. And please try and fill out a survey for me so I know how I can do my job better, what you thought of these, and um, then I get some contact from you over the summer. I miss you guys. So enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed these kits, and we will see you when school year starts up. All right. Bye-bye.